Hello friends, happy Friday. And as you can hopefully see, uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful Friday afternoon. Uh, we've had a bit of an overcast day, but boy, it's just been spring-like all around. It's uh, 60, well, what is it? Oh, according to my car, it's 75 right now. I think that's a bit optimistic. It's probably in the, in the mid to high 60s now. I've really been feeling that winter cabin fever set in over the past couple of weeks, so this, this is just a glorious day. Cigar today is um, Flor de la Antilles. Uh, this is a My Father, um, and if I've got it right, if I got my Garcia straight, this is made by Jamie Garcia, who is Pepin Garcia's son. But uh, excellent cigar, and I'll, I'll put the information down below. So let's get on the road. So this has been a fairly quick week, it seems been very busy um, actually was was out sick yesterday I I got this weird bug on uh, Wednesday where I just started to feel really awful Wednesday afternoon by Wednesday night I was running a fever and had chills uh, woke up Thursday morning just feeling lousy but by like late Thursday afternoon I was feeling pretty normal and today I'm, I'm about 90% so yeah, a little tired, but other than that, feeling pretty normal. So, I don't know what's going around, but a lot of people at work have been sick. Um, it's been a heck of a winter for, for that, because it'll be, you know, warm one day and then cold the next day. And I just think people were having their immune systems pulled every which way. But, uh, hopefully we're, we're out of the woods now. Uh, what do we got going on here? This is someone that changed their mind and is preventing me from turning on red. Yeah. We'll just have to be kind. So I've been thinking a lot this week about the tools and craftsmanship and, and what we do with our spare time. I don't really know if I have any sort of a unified story to tell about this, but it's been interesting. The um, I'm going through this process of re renovating my, my basement shop, and that is, you know, in part going to involve getting rid of some things just because I, I want to more efficiently use the space so I'm sort of mentally inventorying what I've what I've got and I know there's things that I've got tucked away on shelves and stuff that, you know I haven't touched in years and you know, trying to decide if there's anything that I should sell um, things that are just going to get tossed and I I'm realizing as I'm doing this that I have some you know fairly I've got a fair amount of money wrapped up in tools that I used once, and that bothers me. You know, I, I and I guess you know at the time that I bought the tool, it made sense. I've never been one to just go out and splurge on things without thinking it through. But it bothers me that I've got all these things that I, I really didn't need. You know, so for one example is I have a uh, quarter cable, quarter cable. Um, dovetail jig and I I hand cut dovetails I I hand cut dovetails before I got the jig I'm not exactly sure why I decided that I needed it I used it to make one uh, chest of drawers and I never used it again 
because it's more of a pain to use the jig than to, than to just saw out the dovetails. And this thing was probably, you know, $100, $150, something in that range. And looking back on it, I just wish I'd made better choices. But I guess one of the good things about woodworking jigs and woodworking machines is that they do tend to hold their value. So I'm hoping that I will be able to recoup some of that and maybe convert it into things that I want to use now. We'll see. But in doing all this, I've been thinking a lot about you know, how I work and what kinds of tools I want to use and what kinds of tools I don't want to use. And what's more important, you know, speed, accuracy, or enjoyment. And, you know, I used to think that speed was the most important thing because we want to get things done quickly. Accuracy is always going to be important. But enjoyment is, is actually climbing rapidly on the ladder because you know, if I don't enjoy what I'm doing down there, why am I doing it? You know, it's, and I, I'm, I'm not talking about my pipe restoration work. I'm talking about just, you know, like hobby woodworking type things. Hobby, I, I don't like that word, hobby. Um, it, it's, it's demeaning. I mean, a hobby is something you do when you're in your leisure time, you know, it's, it's something unimportant, a uh, way to pass the time. I, I don't, I don't like that word because uh, I, I don't, I don't like to think of myself as frittering away time. Frittering is that a word? Flittering? Uh, whatever you do to get rid of time. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry. I went on a rant there, and I think I might have lost my train of thought. I guess the, um, the point I'm trying to make is that, um, oh, oh I, I know, yeah, the, this, this trade-off between doing something fast and doing something well, and, you know, it, there, there's this old expression, uh, what is it, cheap, fast, and good, pick two, and that, I, I believe that, I believe that quite strongly, there's a relationship between those three things, and you can't do something cheap, fast, and well. You just can't. Um, you might be able to do it cheap and take a long time doing it, or you might be able to do it fast and spend a lot of money to get it done. And and in both cases, have it turn out well. But if you think you're going to be able to get it done cheaply, quickly, and have it be high quality, that just isn't going to happen. So it just leads to interesting thoughts as, I, as I'm trying to decide what to do with, with this stuff and you know what do I want to keep what do I want to get rid of and why in the world did I buy half of it and I guess that projects into other aspects of our life as well you know we I, we've probably all have experienced buyer's remorse I try to minimize it by, you know, being really careful about what it is that I'm uh, buying and, you know, researching it every which way, but, you know, I'll tell you, I've, I've had recent things happen to me where I was researching something for so long, the thing that I finally decided on was no longer being manufactured, so that's not good. You know, you got, you got to at some point make a decision. But, you know, I think we all have had the experience of buying something, and, you know, at the moment that we bought it, we thought, this is, this is really going to work out well, this is the thing that I want right now, and, and you know, a short while later, you're saying, gee, I, uh, I don't know if I really needed this thing. But in a sense, that's why eBay and Craigslist uh, is as popular as it is, because it gives an outlet for people that uh, have made those mistakes, if you will, and allows them to recoup some of their 
the money they, they paid for things that they didn't actually need or really want and it lets other people get them for less than they would have to. So I guess I guess all in all it's a good thing. And I do believe there's going to be a quarter cable dovetail jig up on eBay in the near future. Well guys, if you haven't had a uh, Fleur de la Antilles, good stuff. And every, everything that comes out of either uh, Pepin Garcia or uh, or the My Father brand is, is, is good. I've never had anything that I didn't enjoy immensely from them. And this is this is certainly no exception. So I'm going to enjoy this beautiful drive and enjoy this wonderful cigar and be happy that I'm not going to have to roll the window up to stay warm. I hope you're all staying warm. Hope you enjoyed the little chat and uh, we'll talk again soon.